Hi, I'm Donald Brennan. This is one of my favorite places in New York, Brooklyn. From its brownstones to beautiful parks. I know the borough inside and out. From new development to resales to my neighborhood picks. So grab a smartphone or a pad and pen while I share my two cents. Boutique hotels are more popular than ever, especially in neighborhoods like here in Williamsburg, where many travelers are attracted to edgy design and a homey feel. Urban Cowboy is a Williamsburg, Brooklyn-based bed and breakfast that blends old-fashioned hospitality with an urban vibe. Let's head inside to learn more. Along the tree-lined streets of Williamsburg, Brooklyn, sits Urban Cowboy, a bright, welcoming bed and breakfast with an urban hip vibe. Can you tell us a little bit about your background before Brooklyn and what may have influenced you and in the work that you do here now? Yeah, so I, um, I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, I left home at 16 to play hockey. I lived in uh, 15 cities in 10 years oh my. Uh, on, that, on that journey and ended up playing um, professional hockey after I played Division One college. Mm -hmm. So I got to live in hotels right. uh, and I get traded and and then have to live in another hotel, then you'd right. go on the road and you'd be on a hotel. So, yeah. and, and a lot of them weren't that luxurious. So yeah. I, uh, I, I, I was well informed on uh, hotel living. Right. Um, I then moved to New York um, to pursue uh, a career in real estate, where I became a real estate broker. Yeah. Um, had early success with that, and then became uh, you know, one of the top residential brokers in New York. And I'd see all these spaces, uh, work with developers and say, I'd do it like this, and I'd design it like this, and then they'd say, okay, and, and they'd put a sprig of wood in and call it rustic. You know? <laughs> uh, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build my dream house. I'm gonna sure. do my own development. Um, and that's, uh, that's what this was. This was my, uh, my dream house. Um, it was down in Nicaragua uh, on a surf trip, and someone said, you know, what do you do? Uh, and I said, I'm opening a bed and breakfast. Just kind of came out, sure. uh, and the rest is history. Featured in a long list of shelter publications, Urban Cowboy has won praise not only for its design, but for being a business pioneer as bigger boutique hotels continue to dominate the borough. So Lionel, why did you end up in this location in Williamsburg? You know, this, this location is really special to me. Um, I actually moved to Williamsburg 14 years ago mm -hmm. um, in 02. So uh, I fell in love with New York and Williamsburg, mm -hmm. and the energy there at that time was um, it was freedom. It yeah. was exciting to a, a 22 year old. Yeah. And uh, I remember having you know, 300 person parties on my rooftop and mm -hmm. uh, you know, skateboarding around. And, and fast forward to you know, a few years ago in, in 2013 and the north side being extremely populated now and, and maybe not feeling exactly like the Williamsburg that, yeah. that, um, that I, uh, I fell in love with. This particular area um, was always very residential. What attracted you to this particular location? So there is a tree in the front yard, a blue <laughs> spruce, there's a front porch, it's yep. a freestanding building yeah. um, in New York City. Right. Uh, and I think that you know, that was what was so special. It was right. uh, my own little 25 by 100 lot in, in the world. For Lion Porter, Urban Cowboy is a labor of love. When this former hockey player decided to hang up his skates, he and his partner, Jersey Banks, went to work. Partners in business and in life, they set out to create a unique bed and breakfast with a hip yet approachable vibe. So I understand this is not a sole endeavor of your own. You do have a partner. Could you uh, share with us a little bit of how the partnership works? Yeah, so this is Jersey Banks. Uh, she and I uh, run this place together. I design and conceptualize and she um, she does everything else. Uh, but it's, uh, it's working out quite well. We. Uh, uh, we're having a lot of fun. Now, the bones are so interesting, but the decor also works really well and complimentary. Uh, yeah, so the decor is sourced from all over. I mean, a lot of it Lion actually grew up with. Mm -hmm. um, their family heirlooms. Um, and then he spent quite a long time um, driving through the country and like sourcing things from all over, picking up things from vintage shops. Right. And uh, yeah, it's been quite a... Uh, quite a work in the making. What's your favorite piece of decor in the space? Um, you know, I actually really love our record collection. Uh -huh. um, this was a recent addition within the past, I would say, six months. Yeah. And it was uh, given to us by one of Lion's really good friends from Ohio. And right. it's, uh, I guess he was actually Lion's favorite DJ. Yeah. I mean, we have a thousand records basically of all bangers they just like you can't put on a bad album which right. is kind of fun lots of great different seating areas you've uh, configured here what, what's 
the mood you're looking for in this particular space? Um, I mean, we're kind of, the whole space is pretty open yeah. um, and we like people to kind of have a directive where they know they can just relax and mm -hmm. chill um, and that also invokes a conversation. So when you're sitting kind of in this configuration, you know, you're, you can relax, you can chill, but you can also, you know, have a decent conversation with someone that's right next right. to you in a group. I mean, our whole business is really based around people. Um, we're a lot different than a normal B&B or mm -hmm. uh, even a hotel right. in the sense that you get the key to your room and you go to your room and mm -hmm. you're in your little box. Um, here we're very inclusive, we're very communal. Uh, we have meals all the time together beyond breakfast. Um, we're constantly inviting people in and out of the space. Um, and it's, it's all about conversations and relationships. Right. So the way that people interact in this space is really, really important to us. Great. At a time when there is intense competition in the hospitality industry, Urban Cowboy is thriving. The Urban Cowboy concept so successful they decided to extend the Brooklyn brand to the music city, Nashville, Tennessee. Love the name Urban Cowboy. How'd you come up with the name? Uh, it was down to the wire. Um, Scene Magazine and New York Magazine were about to run stories on us. Uh, and uh, I remember sitting with my uh, partner in this jersey and she said, we, we, gotta, we gotta come up with a name, like, like right now. And it was down, uh, like I said, to a couple things and it just kind of just kind of came out uh, out of nowhere um, and cowboys in you know the Americana sure. history of, of, of cowboys have always kind of been romantically um, mm -hmm. associated with freedom so how does the uh, urban cowboy idea work both in Brooklyn and Nashville you know what's funny is many people think we started in Nashville uh, Nashville's been open for uh, just over six months, right. and it's it's rocking. It's amazing. It's it's almost like the whole concept and idea was made for Nashville, sure. uh, but it grew out of Brooklyn. And uh, people say, how does a, a Western themed uh, B and B work in um, in Brooklyn? And I think it, it it works because it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> um, you know, it's there's there's influences of uh, of Western design, but you know we're we're very tongue-in-cheek. We don't take ourselves that seriously. And any uh, plans for expansion here in Brooklyn? So yeah, so in Brooklyn we just opened our uh, annex property that we're calling the Treehouse, mm -hmm. uh, just down the street. Right. So the Treehouse um, uh, came out of a chance meeting uh, with a neighbor. Uh, a guy had walked by the house and I was throwing a, a big barbecue and, and uh, he said, what is this? And, he, and I said, come on in. Uh, you know, he served him a drink and yeah. he said, uh, this is amazing. Will you design my house? And yeah. I said, sure. You know, what, what would you what would you like? He goes, this exactly this. <laughs> I go, well, I will do exactly this. Uh, but um, you know, a year and a half later, uh, he was a design client, sure. um, a designer as well, and um, you know, he started to see how this worked, and and um, and we have a excessive demand for people in you know mm -hmm. very small amount of rooms, and so uh, it kind of just naturally happened uh, organically and uh, I'd love to show it to you. Sure, sounds like a good idea. So this is the treehouse, another great space. What, what, what went on here? So I met the owner, he was walking by, uh, like I told you, my, uh, my other property, and he said, will you design my place right. and make it look exactly like yours? And I uh -huh. said, uh, I won't do exactly, sure. um, but you know, these are amazing eight foot diamond windows and we did custom wallpaper by a uh, uh, uh -huh. guy named Princeburg, yep. uh, Clint who is a local artisan, yeah. um, you know, sourced this table from actually a guy in Nashville who's done a lot of woodwork for me in mm -hmm. 1767. So it was, it's really like um, my design has evolved since the first one and during the Nashville property and I kind of mixed the two, yeah. but the materials are same. I actually sourced these uh, reclaimed uh, pine uh, floors just like my place, uh, uh -huh. the same lumber yard in Bushwick and we did these floating stairs and the, the way this is configured is it's kind of like an upside down version of my place, right? Sure. The, the living room's up top, right. but you get that great sunset view Yeah. and the uh, you know, same signature white kitchen, and, uh, but there's a black Bertazzoni versus a white Viking, so little differences, but uh, the overall um, aesthetic has the same vibe. Yeah, still very sharp and it all works really well together. Very Thanks impressive. So Thanks so much. The design community and savvy travelers have rolled out the welcome mat for Urban Cowboy embracing the bed and breakfast with open arms.
Urban Cowboy is a truly unique place, offering innovative and old-fashioned hospitality. I'm Donald Brennan of Brennan Real Estate.